YouTube dudes. What's going on, y'all, man? Is you guys ready? We got the original season one, episode five. I believe it's five or six. I think it's five, though. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. Check out the playlist. Let's go. Big. What's this? They killed this girl? So this is what you do the first time we're back together as a family. Vampire book club. Reading edifies the mind, sister. Isn't that right, Elijah? Yes, that's quite right, Nicholas. And what's this business? This is a peace offering. I presumed after so much time desiccating in a coffin that my big brother might be a bit peckish. So I explained to my little brother that forgiveness cannot be bought. I'd simply prefer to see a change in behavior that indicates contrition and personal growth. Not this nonsense. Well, I couldn't very well let her go to waste, could I? Well, I suppose I'll fetch the rubbish bin because she's staining a 200-year-old carpet. Grew both day and night till it bore an apple bright and my foe beheld it shine and he knew that it was mine. And into my garden stole where the night had you veiled the Leave that bowl. lady alone, man. She's off limits. In the limits. morning glad I see. In my opinion, I don't know. My foe outstretched beneath the tree. Well, I'm not trying to get involved with anybody my brother has ever been with, hey. currently with, had feelings for even. It's kind of like... Listen, I know it's I'm pushing, the only one you know? in this house that actually drinks milk, but would I kill any of you to make sure it's on the grocery list? Speaking of, add bleach. You know, I do hope my siblings were hospitable toward you in my absence. In your absence, as you like to call it, which is a way too polite way of saying that your brother put a dagger in your heart, I have been attacked by French Quarter vampires, I've had to live in a house with a secret dungeon full of coffins, and I was nearly murdered by witches who are convinced that my baby is Lucifer. But is it though? <laughs> oh. Milk. They've been fine. Where did you get that from? Your siblings are weirdly protective. I know I have you to thank for that. I'm just happy to see that you're in one piece. So back to the murderous witches. I have some concerns. They're evil. And my life is still magically linked to Sophie Devereaux, which is not comforting. Yes, I think it's time we took care of that little problem. I am all for it. As soon as they're unlinked, we get to leave this crap town. Who do we have to kill? Probably no one. All right, potentially everyone. What are you doing with Mother's spell book? Well, in exchange for my freedom, I promised the witch to Vina that I would share a few pages from Mother's grimoire to help her to learn to control her magic. Thought we'd begin with a little unlinking spell. Wait, you want to use her to unlink Haley from Sophie Devereux? Sophie brought us to this town under false pretenses. She doesn't just want us to take down Marcel and his minions. She wants to take Davina back. So she yoked her own cause to ours with magic, threats, and half-truths. Well, no more. As of now, our deal with Sophie Devereaux is null and void. Niklas, I need you to come with me. I need five minutes alone with Davina. You need to make certain that I am not interrupted. You stay here and watch, Haley. Leave her be. He can hear her, right? Oh, I knew it was these freaks. Klaus or his baby is not the answer. I'm not gonna kill you, Sophie. I was there the day you were born. I'm the last remaining elder of our coven. It is my duty to protect our power, and our power means nothing if that baby grows another day. Sabine's omen was clear. That baby will bring death to us all. What are you gonna do? 
No, Agnes. No, 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 don't, don't do this. No! Jesus, what is that? That must have scared that. She scared him. She was like, What the hell was that? Well, if I know, I felt like I was being stabbed. What happened? It was Agnes. Her men took Sophie. Day one, with you in charge, brother. And already the witch linked to Haley has been abducted by zealots. Uh. It's not his fault. If I tell you where Agnes is, you'll just kill her. Isn't that obvious? Look, I know she's a little cuckoo, but she's our last living elder. That might not mean a lot to you, but it means plenty to us. The elders are the only ones who can do important spells. Like completing the harvest ritual. You know about that? Oh, you'd be astounded by the things I know. Allow me to entertain you with today's list of priorities. One. Unlink your friend Sophie so she no longer controls the fate of the woman carrying my child. Two, convince my brother to accept my heartfelt apologies for some recently dodgy behavior. Three, there is no three. I believe what my brother's attempting to communicate here is that neither the life of this elder nor the harvest ritual nor your coven's connection to magic are of any relevance to him whatsoever. Now talk. He's fine, and he hasn't punished Klaus for daggering him, so as usual, they'll be thick as thieves, and I'll be left to clean up the mess. It's time for me to fly the coop. Oh. What's wrong? I don't know. Probably morning sickness. Oh, you're burning up, actually. Agnes struck me with a needle. Uh, oh, cursed objects were created a long time ago. We use them so we don't get busted by Marcel for doing magic. The one she used is called the Needle of Sorrows. It was cursed in 1860 when... Jump ahead a few decades and tell us what it does, love. It has one purpose. To kill a child in utero by raising our blood temperature. It's for a miscarriage. So how much time do we have to fix this? It'll do what it's meant to by tonight's high tide. And believe me, it will work. I saw her use a similar object on a kid who went mad and killed a bunch of priests. I'd like to have a little chat with this Agnes. Where can I find her? You won't. There are a thousand places she could hole up to wait it out. That's precisely why we need to unlink you from Haley. No more danger towards her or the child. No. What? If I am not linked to Haley, I lose my leverage on you. We had a deal. <laughs> we are not on the same no. side, Sophie Devereaux. Our deal no longer stands. Does this mean you're pardoning me? Oh, you know I can't do that. You broke my number one rule. You killed the vampire, T. I let that go. It'll make me look weak. I warned you about Klaus. Yeah, I should have listened. This guy's been in my town for months, but hiding where he lays his head at night. What else is he hiding is what I want to know. I didn't listen to you before, but I sure as hell am now. Let him out. Don't tell him shit until he lets you out, man. Fuck that. Tell me you ain't getting no advice from me. You and you're going to lock me back up in this thing. You yourself out by Mardi Gras. The night of the masquerade party. And you sent us rousting in the cauldron to mess with the witches. So when Max came in rousting, he went right for Katie's throat. Now you said to roust. You didn't say to kill. Now he's a night walker. I'm a day walker. I told him to stop and he wouldn't. So I stopped him. That night's on an endless loop in my head. I think Max was compelled. No. All my guys are on Vervain. Not if Klaus drained him. Max went missing for a couple of days before the rousting, right? T, they found stuff you and your girl stole from me in her shop. Have you ever been to the Jardin Gris? You can't find your own hand in front of your face in there. And yet somehow someone went in there and after a couple of minutes they found some stolen goods. Uh. Go there. See for yourself. But I'm telling you, besides Max, 
Somebody else in the crew had to be compelled. Watch your back. Man, don't let them put you in there, man. So a few <laughs> tourists go out, especially no originals. <laughs> come to join. I've come to ask this group to utilize its considerable resources to find a witch elder named Agnes. All I need is an address. And why would we want to help you? What if I told you that Agnes was the answer to a question you've been asking since you ran screaming from this town? Ah, shit. That she is the witch who hexed your nephew, Sean. We need some time to just... I don't have the time! <laughs> Nor do I like being asked to wait. You may have all the vampires in this town cowering in fear, but right now you are dealing with the humans. And unless you plan on killing all of us, I politely suggest you do as I say and give us time to discuss it. You know what I like about you, Father? Is you're aware of my reputation and yet still you stand tall against me. Admirable. You have one hour. Uh -uh. Man, down that witch. You ain't punching so him. Records. Our guys in the ninth. For the vampire? No. For me. Going somewhere? You're early. Well, it's a good thing I am. You seem hell bent on enacting vengeance all on your lonesome. The trouble is, I need something from Agnes before you send her off to meet her maker. So, I propose we strike a deal. Bring her here. In exchange, I'll even ensure your niece, Damn. Cammy, remains safe. Mm. I would so hate for her to get caught up in all of this. It's your heart. Please, Agnes. You know that Marcel runs the vampires in this town. Who do you think runs everything else? I believe this is what you're looking for? Hello, Agnes. You made a deal with him? After what you did to Sean, I'd deal with the devil himself just to see you suffer. You can't hurt me. The entire witch community will turn against you. Enough! Please. Enough. I don't care about witch politics. I don't care about your ridiculous little harvest ritual. What I care about is this trinket. Undo its curse, or I'll show you things worse than death. Dark optics don't come with an off switch. The curse took root in Sophie. She's linked to your devil child. It's just a matter of time. Breathe. Okay. Oh. Long deep breaths. Haley, look at me. Long deep breaths. Focus Yeah. 
Ow, why are you gonna stab your fucking... Fuck Agnes. But guess what? I'm quite a piece of work myself. You know, I contemplated leaving bits of you artfully arranged outside your family's tomb. I thought it would leave a fitting message. <laughs> Don't touch my family. Leave her. I gave my word. You tend to give your word at the most inopportune times, brother. We've been doing things your way all day. Come on. Just one little snap and it's toodaloo, Agnes. She deserves it. Niklaus, do not make another move. You have asked for my forgiveness. I will grant you that forgiveness. This guy is weird. He talks to me. Break. Relax. One word. How's that for personal growth, eh? Who the other guy? Is just like you to spoil my fun. Oh, not necessarily. No, I swore you would not die. By my brother's hand. I said nothing of my own. <laughs> no one hurts my family who lives. Damn. No one. It was the cops lied about where he lives? I'm not his damn keeper, Josh. Fine. Just tell him to call me. Please. Okay. Ah. Some balls. I don't think we've met. Coming over here. Hey. Where you been? Not so mad about our tiff the other night, are you? Water under the bridge. Cammy's all yours if you're interested. I'm feeling like now is not the right time for me to pursue a relationship. Life's all about timing, you know? Speaking of, I swung by your place earlier to commiserate over a drink, but I must have just missed you. Oh, the Palace Royale didn't suit me. I moved on weeks ago. No, I mean your other place. Goodbye means goodbye, Elijah. Is she with you? What the hell are you talking about? Haley's gone. Where is she? What? Marcel was here. Oh yeah, right. He wouldn't do nothing to her, man. This is stupid if he did. <coughs> Nah, he didn't do that. No way. He's not that dumb. Because no one, and I mean no one, fucks with an original. <laughs> Am I right, y'all? Y'all know I'm right. Subscribe. Do it now.